What's up, folks? It's Cyclone, and uh, I'm bringing you guys a stout from my trip to Treehouse. And I'm very hopeful that this is going to deliver. This is chocolate fudge cake. 11.4% milk stout, guys, featuring very delectable, rich chocolate and apparently vanilla frosting. Um, I love that combination, by the way. Um, and... Uh, there's no date on the bottle, so I already have to nick it a small point there. Um, I know it's a stout you can have as old as you want, really, 11.4%. doesn't say there's coffee, so you could enjoy this, um, you know, older, and it would still be a great stout. Although, I'm not sure if some of those sugars and sweet notes will dilute over time. So, good to have this now. Uh, I'm assuming this is only a couple days old in the bottle. Um... I got it, and I think these would sell out immediately, so. Oh, yeah. The nose. The nose is, is uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I can go down the middle on this one. It is pretty thick coming out, guys. It is, absolutely. Eh, we might get some carbonation here. Hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back off on that pour, actually. We're getting a nice bit of carbonation for an 11.4 percenter. Wow. There we go. There we go. I'm going to get all of that out there. Oh, nice tight bubbles on a khaki head. And it is as dark as midnight, guys. So I can already tell that right here. There you go. Yeah. Um, what, what else are you looking for? That's a stout, and it's a really good-looking stout at that. Big, foamy bubbles up top, but very compact bubbles on the side. It looks great. Let's get a true nose on this. There's a nice milk chocolate going on in here. Some of the roasted malts come out, and you do get some of the vanilla. That's kind of what I'm getting, honestly. Um, I'm not sure if there's any caramel on there. Maybe a little bit of caramel or toffee. Well, this is the first Imperial I've ever had from them, so let's give it a shot. I hope this delivers. Cheers. Oh, it delivers. Um, it's very good. It's really easy to drink, actually. Kind of amazed by that. Very easy going. Oh. Ooh, oh, that is chocolate. That's very chocolatey in the mouth. You get that? I almost get a little bit of like chocolate syrup and a, fu a fudgier baked chocolate kind of together. There is some vanilla coming in as well. You do, the lactose is adding a sweetness here, and I like that a lot. I'm wondering if the body is thick enough, though, for my taste at this ABV. I mean, it's there's a slight syrupy quality, but it's... It's a very nice taste in the mouth. It's just loaded with a chocolatey presence. Almost like Hershey syrup. Um, but there's also a, a baked in fudgier chocolate layer kind of dancing in there with the roasted malt profile. I like this a lot. I'm just trying to think about maybe the word again, it's, it's just so drinkable that it's like, 
I don't know. Am I looking for something that weighs me down a little bit more? Because the pastry stout category is all about the like the comfort dessert, like full palate clearing sweetness. And the back is very dry on the it's it's kind of Tons of fudgy goodness in the mouth. A very tasty beer, guys. Guys, it's Cyclone back here with chocolate fudge cake from Treehouse. This is a very tasty pastry stout, guys. Um, I think this is my favorite stout from these guys to date. Um, there's only one nitpick outside of there not being a date on the bottle. Um... The finish is a little too underwhelming and dry. And that's a compliment to how great the taste is of this beer. When it's when you first taste it, it's awesome. Chocolate fudge, a little bit of vanilla comes in. A um, little bit. I mean, definitely some caramel and toffee, a little bit kind of in there. Not a ton of dark fruit to speak of. Um, the chocolate does come out over the roasted malts. And some vanilla kind of dances in there too. It's, it is what's advertised. But the problem is it disappears on you. Now, the drinkability is crazy. It is it is shockingly... It, again, it's that fluffy pillow thing we got going on. So it, it's here too um, where you get all that... I would want to call this like chocolate mousse. A great dessert, guys. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's almost a perfect, not quite, but I'm satisfied. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. I'll see you on the next one. Hey, guys, Cyclone here with another stout review from Treehouse. This is the, the other stout that I picked up called Sweet Ride. This is a cookies and cream, banana cream sundae themed stout, milk stout. 10.9% alcohol. No date on these bottles, unfortunately, guys. This is a 2021 vintage, uh, spring of 2021, but there is no date, unfortunately. Um, we're supposed to be getting uh, wafer cookies, vanilla, banana, and fresh banana puree on a delicious milk stout. Guys, um, I love bananas and stout. Banana bread stout, very tasty stuff. Let's see if this captures any of that. You know, I get some like banana cream and vanilla on the nose, more than chocolate actually. There's a nice banana smell from the bottle, so maybe we're gonna get something really good here. Before I do this, let me not spill like an idiot. I do not want to spill stout. It's probably the worst style of beer to, to spill on a table is stout. Uh, dark, dark as midnight. <laughs> we can get a straight pour on this one, guys. Probably. Yeah, this one's going to be very thick coming out. Oh, yeah. Looks really good, guys. The chocolate cake was really good as well. I'd say the chocolate cake was more carbonated than this one. Maybe they're similar. No, I think this is slightly less carbonated. You do smell the banana. I get the banana, and that's a good sign, at least up front here. Mm, I smell the banana. I really do, guys. Wow. A little bit of vanilla, chocolate, and caramel, but the banana. Banana's up front. Let's taste this sucker. I'm interested to see what this brings. Oh my God. That's very delicious. It could just be that first sip, but for some reason, I'm tasting a better aftertaste than the chocolate cake. Give me a second here. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. That's really tasty, guys. Guys, Cyclone back here with the Sweet Ride uh, Cookies and Cream Banana Cream Sunday. It's a mouthful, but it's a lot of delicious dessert flavors wrapped up into one stout. Um, this is the best treehouse stout I've ever had. Not even close. Well, chocolate fudge cake is a close second, but this is definitely better. Not only, it, it's 10.9%. But even at the slightly smaller ABV, there's more substance to the malt bill here. The profile, the syrupiness, the dessert, that beautiful palate coating sweetness is all in this beer. Yes. Delicious. Drinkable as hell, but sweet and savory all the way through. This beer doesn't dry out or lose its, its savoriness on the back end like this, the chocolate one did to me. It keeps that quality all the way through. You start and finish with that same delicious, sweet blend of dessert flavors. And the banana does come through here. You get plenty of creamy lactose and vanilla you get nice milk chocolate, and you also get a nice core flavor of banana. It's fabulous, guys. It's fabulous. I think this is a fantastic stout. One of my favorites so far this year. This is a really tasty stout. Looking for a pure dessert beer that features what's on the bottle. And they nailed what was being put on the bottle. All the flavors are here. Mmm. That is damn delicious. In terms of overall drinkability and what's being offered here, that is, this could be my second favorite stout of the year. The first is Endless Night and Day by Trillium. That's a different level of magnitude. That is a different level of insanity. That's a 15.5% coffee barrel aged out that just tastes like uh, liquid oil fudge. I don't, I don't think like brownie batter liquefied with coffee. Like that beer is a different, it's a, it's a bigger caliber, right? We're at the 15.5%. I actually can't even finish a whole bottle. So I have one more that I'm saving for a sharing occasion, something special. I know the coffee might age out of that beer, but it's that damn impressive. So in terms of something dancing at the 11 mark, this is basically as good as I've ever had. And um, I would say it's, it could be in my top five stouts, imperial stouts. And it's not saying it's barrel age. See, that's the thing. This isn't even barrel aged. This isn't even a barrel aged stout. For that fact alone, this is extraordinary. It's a perfect, you know what that means. I will be buying this as much as I can next time. I know which one I'm looking for. I hope they release it again. They have the Sweet Ride series. I only have one other bottle of this. It is so delicious. That is one of the tastiest non-barrel-aged stouts I've ever done. It's a 10. It's a bazinga. Go buy it. You're a fool if you don't. If you don't like banana, you might not love this one. You're going to taste a little banana in here, but that's what's really doing it for me. I love it how it's incorporating that with all the chocolate and vanilla and creamy lactose. It's really tasty, guys. So anyway, that's my review. Cyclone signing off.